So I'd like to talk about plantar fasciitis and other possible causes of those symptoms. So plantar fasciitis is when someone has pain along either the bottom of the foot or sometimes at the heel region. And sometimes it's due to a problem at the ankle itself, but it's important to realize that due to the mechanics of the body, um, pain or weakness in other areas can actually cause the pain in the foot. So I'm going to talk about the hip area. So let's say, for example, someone has plantar fasciitis on the right foot. And one possibility is they may have a weakness in the right outer hip area here, um, in particular a muscle called the gluteus medius. And that muscle stabilizes your pelvis whenever you do anything on one leg. So, for example, when you're walking, your weight goes through the right leg, okay? When the left leg goes up in the air, the weight is supported on that right leg. So if that muscle in the hip area is working properly, what should happen is you take a step on the right leg, the hip is stabilizing, the knee will generally be relatively straight and the weight should go through somewhat the midline of your foot. Now what can happen sometimes if there is a weakness in that outer hip area, I'll exaggerate this, but what can happen is you take a step, the weight goes through the right leg, and instead of the knee remaining straight, due to that weakness in the hip, the knee can kind of shift inward. When that knee shifts inward, you can see that the ankle, instead of being straight, actually rolls inward as well. And what that does is it puts extra stress on that plantar fascia and kind of overstretches it. And that irritation can actually cause plantar fasciitis. Um, so again, it's important to keep in mind different areas of the body that can cause symptoms in different parts of the body. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call 516-420-2900.